Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about a subscriber requested topic, the truth about strapless wedding dresses, everything you should consider, especially for those who have a larger chest. I'm giving you all the details in this week's video. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, drop me a line below, let me know if there's a particular video topic you'd like me to create a video on. I am here for you, guiding you along the way, leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, please be sure to follow us on Instagram at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. Don't forget to hit that follow button on TikTok at Lavella Bridal and at Wedding Fashion Expert as well. This week's video was inspired by a subscriber. Caitlin wrote in asking if I could please do a video on big chested brides who want a strapless dress but don't want to keep pulling up their dress all night. I want to have a strapless, but since I'm big chested, my mom says it wouldn't work for me because I'll have to keep pulling up my dress and that's not going to be elegant. Caitlin, this is such a great topic. Thank you so much for your comment. I'm so excited to address this, not only for brides who have larger chests, but also just in general, as a rule of thumb, there's so much that I can share about wearing a strapless dress in general to keep everyone's expectations realistic and also so you know what you're buying no matter your chest size, but it does make a difference if you do have a larger chest wanting to wear a strapless dress. When you go wedding dress shopping, there are going to be many strapless dress options. It is a common theme in bridal, and strapless is just something that there is such a large selection of. Granted, it, that is also because it's very easy for brides to take a strapless dress and add whatever type of strap they want onto it. So a lot of designers will just keep a dress strapless and the brides can have fun if they don't don't want to wear it strapless to decide how they want to wear it. The first and most crucial thing I am going to tell you in this video is that when you go to someone's wedding and you see them constantly pulling up their dress all night throughout the reception, it is because it doesn't mean that the dress didn't fit them properly. So what happens is you get your dress tailored, you leave the store and your dress fits you beautifully. It fits absolutely perfect. It's nice and tight and ready to go. Wedding dresses are just like a pair of jeans. Let's say you put on in the morning, you put your jeans on, they're nice and tight. You're active throughout the day and all of a sudden they're big on you and you keep pulling them up. Your wedding dress is the exact same thing. From your body heat, the dress is expanding on you throughout the day. If your body is not bloating with its expansion of the dress, the dress is going to be big on you. Another thing that people often think is that a strapless dress stays up, this is a myth, a strapless dress stays up by the top being tight. A strapless dress actually stays up by the waist being tight. So right now this corset that I'm wearing, it is super, super snug at my waist. The top is actually kind of loose. Like I could fit my whole hand down the side of it. Like the top is loose because that way I can kind of breathe with my chest. But the waist of the corset is really tight and that's what's holding this top in place that I'm wearing right now. It is the exact same thing on your wedding dress. The waist needs to be nice and snug to be able to hold up. However, no matter your body size or your chest size, it doesn't make a difference as to what body type is going to expand more. It actually has more to do with the material of your dress and how that material responds to body heat and how that expands throughout the evening. So whenever my brides are purchasing a strapless dress, I tell them this, the dress is going to expand throughout the day. You are in this article of clothing for a very, very long time. I always, always, always recommend having a strap that is detachable that you could add the moment that you feel the dress is starting to slip down it's gravity. It is going to slip down because it is expanding just like an article of clothing that you wear on a daily basis does. 
it's no different. Now, going back to Caitlin's comment about larger chested brides wearing a strapless dress. It depends if your breasts are real or are they fake because fake breasts don't weigh as much as a natural larger breast does. And that weight impacts when you are wearing a strapless dress, just like the corset that I'm wearing, it has what's called boning. It is a plastic stiff stick of material, kind of like the concept of a straw, but flat. So it's plastic and it's flat. That's what boning is. And the boning helps hold up the dress. Manufacturers use plastic boning instead of metal because plastic can bend and mold with you and it's more comfortable where metal is going to be super harsh and really could hurt you on wedding day. When you have a large natural chest that weighs a lot depending on how big your boobs are, that weight is going to require additional support of boning. However, the boning is also plastic. So because of that, with heat, it can bend. So keeping that in mind with your body heat and the weight of your breast combined with the material of the dress, is the material a very structured, strong material or is it very flimsy and see-through? All of those components reflect on how well it will hold up throughout the day. Again, if you are picking a dress that has a nice, like this top that I'm wearing has a very stiff, stiff material and multiple layers, it's not going anywhere. This would hold beautifully. However, throughout the day, you could see the breasts start to collapse based on your chest size because of the heat and because of the weight. That being said, this is why I would always recommend a detachable strap. I recommend that no matter your size, but I would absolutely recommend that with a larger chest so that you are not pulling up all night. A larger chest that is natural is more likely to have the dress slip down and start to collapse a little bit than somebody who has smaller or fake boobs that would not do that as easily, even though it's going to most likely happen no matter what. Have I had brides with large chests, small chests, everything in between, get married in a strapless dress and never put on the detachable strap or sleeve of any kind for additional support? Absolutely. However, there is no way to predict or to guarantee you that the way that your body behaves and moves and the dress behaves and moves on your individual body on wedding day, how it is going to react and what is going to happen on that day. So you definitely will need all the structure and support you can get. However, that is not a guarantee based on your body heat and movement throughout the day and the way in which the dress reacts to all of it. All in all, strapless dresses can be extremely successful to wear on wedding day with no problems. It happens all the time. I just want to give you this information from my expertise and knowledge. And even when I show up to people's wedding and I see them pulling up, I saw them at their final fitting and the dress fit them great. It's just that it's expanded. Now, another thing I want to point out, a lot of brides are pulling up small chest or indifferent, doesn't matter. They're pulling up because they have felt the dress expand a little bit on wedding day. The dress is isn't going anywhere. It's not going to fall off of you, but the bride herself feels it slipping. In that case, I recommend you go to the bathroom, you unzip the dress, raise the dress back up and realign it in a higher spot on your body so that you feel a little bit more comfortable and then get back onto the dance floor. That's a little tip and trick so that you're not constantly pulling up because the, the more you pull up, it's not really moving anywhere. You need to unzip it, reposition it, zip it back up again, and then that way, hopefully, it'll kind of settle in in a higher spot versus constantly feeling like it's slipping down. So a lot of the brides that you're seeing constantly pull up, it doesn't mean that the dress is going to fall off of them or that the dress is too big on them. It's also the sensation that they themselves are feeling, so they constantly feel the need to pull up but there's no reason to do so. It's not going anywhere. So all in all, those are all my top 
tips when it comes to strapless dresses to consider, not trying to terrify you at all, just trying to prepare you of all the possible scenarios so that you are mentally prepared and also you have a plan of action in place just in case. I also say that you could even have a backup dress. If you just wanna have something that's not super expensive, it doesn't matter, just as a backup. If your dress starts to feel uncomfortable throughout the evening, you can just take it off, slip into a dress later in the night, and then be a little bit more comfortable. Strapless or not, that's something that I always recommend. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like these, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.